Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z and welcome back to some more Super Mario 64. In our last video, we collected all the stars on the main floor of Peach's Castle and we also took out Bowser in the Dark World. But in this video, we're going to explore the basement and collect some more stars. So, when we head down here to this basement door, we have the key from the Dark World from Bowser. And once you open it up, we are in this basement section. So one of the courses that I want to check out is probably Hazy Maze Cave for our uh, sixth course. Oh, there's Mips. <laughs> that Bonnie, so let me just get him. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> That kind of works when you dive and catch that bunny at the same time. <laughs> Alright, so there's our star. Let's grab it, just for the heck of it. <laughs> Another secret star in the books, and let's move on to this course. Right, so here's the room for Hazy Maze Cave. Well, first off, there is a toad right here, so let me just talk to him real quick. Don't care about these text speeches or whatever. There's the star, and grab it. All right, two stars at the beginning of this video. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into Hazy Maze Cave. The first star that we're going to get is Swimming Beast in the Cavern. Don't really care about those secret stars throughout the castle, simply because we just want to give a move on. Get it? <laughs> oh, 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 almost fell to my death. Ah, there we go. Don't want to fall into that hole. Otherwise, I don't want to restart the level. Watch out for those. Oh, rolling rocks. Oh, barely made in time without falling off. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go dodge those rocks. Head through this door. Jump down on this platform. Oh, well, that kind of hurt, Mario. <laughs> Screw it. Let's dive into this water. There's that star, so let me just need someone who will probably get me up to this cliff. There we go. Let's use Dory's help to reach the uh, star. Oh, let's hop off Dory, grab the star, and we're good to go. Now, I know in the DS version of Mario 64, when you use the Wario, you'll be able to break that rock and get the star, which is the first one, I guess. Oh, and before I get the second star, which is the red coins, I need to hop back on Dory's back to get to these doors right there. There we go, and we walk through these doors right there. Jump down this whirlpool slash hole. And you should end up in the metal cap stage. So, with this power up, Mario will be able to uh, get hit by those enemies while he's invincible like the star power. So, you cannot get hurt at all with the cap metal. And with the metal cap, you can actually walk under the water to... Uh, Get some secrets like red coins instead of swimming. So we got first two red coins. So let's hop on the green bell cap switch button just in case to unlock the power ups. And there we go. Let's get the two other red coins. Grab this bell cap switch from the box. Jump onto the water. Grab the last four. There we go, and the star spawns right in front of me. And let's grab it, though. <laughs> well, another secret star is in the books. I'll take it. <laughs> and switching from Mario 64 to Mario 64 DS, you know about the same metal cap state, right? Well, there's actually one difference I'm going to show you. So, if we head over here... There's actually no bell cap switch, you know, the button. But at the bottom of the screen, there should be a star that we could probably go up and get it. So, with the DS version, hit those red question mark blocks. With Mario, grab the flower and press the B button to go up and grab this star. Yep, there it is. That star that you just saw in the Hazy Maze Cave is only in the DS version of Mario 64 but not in the N64 version. And now that we're back to the N64 version, time to tackle the second star, the eight red coins. 
the first star we did is to the left, and for the second star, we have to go towards the right. And look at that, field goal for Mario in between the fire flames popping out. <laughs> Football, get it? <laughs> so now that we're in this area, let's find some red coins. So if we head up here, we have this platform that you can control. Left, right to get the right coins. Okay, looks like the one might be in this first box. There it is. There's two. Come on. Yes. Oh. Ah. Got three. And that other one is right on this cliff. There we go. And now I'm going to climb back up and get the other eight red coins somewhere. All right, now use this platform to get the other eight red coins that are found in those other boxes. Not that we're in the box, though. <laughs> They're actually found on this track, though. But yeah, there's five. Six. Whoa. Suit. There we go, got the eight red coins. And now I'm gonna drop back down to get the second star. There it is, and we're all set. Our second main star for Hazen Maze Cave is in the books. And now let's move on to the next one. Okay, star number three, Metalhead Mario can move. And now that we got the metal cap, I might as well go back to the left once again and go back to the area when we get the first star. Okay, and drop down. There we go. Now let's use the metal cap and walk under the water. Step on this button and the gates open. And the star is straight ahead, so a few more long jumps. Gotcha! That is star number three of Hazy Maze Cave. All right, next star, navigating the toxic maze. So now I have to go back to the right where we got the red coins from. So let's go through this area, drop down this hole, and we're in this toxic maze. You know, the old gas. <laughs> so now I have to use the metal cap once again and find our way out of the maze. Let's see here. Where is it? Oh, I think this is it. Let's see, door to the left, up this platform. All right, got that star. Hopefully that one counts. There we go. Toxic May Star is complete. This one took me a while, but it was actually possible to get it. And now let's move on to the next one. All right, next star. Amazing emergency exit. Now, normally you go to the right and to the toxic maze where you go to a different exit. But to sort things up, there is a star right above right here. There it is. And to get this, I learned that if you walk some above, you'll be able to get it easily. Let's see. There we go. It took me about five times to get it. So hang on to those monkey bars. Whoops, that's the wrong way. <laughs> All right, got that star in no time. The long jumps will work a lot quicker compared to the monkey bars, which will be way too long for me. Well, that's the end of that. So now on to the next star. Now let's try Watts for Rolling Rocks. So for the DS version of Mario 64, you have to use a Mega Mushroom to punch the rocks to get the star. 
but the N64 version is a little bit different. So you can't punch those rocks like in the N64 version. Ow. Ow. Don't want to get hit or die. <laughs> you see that door right there when we got the first door? Well, guess what? Well, jump right up here. And you should get this star, which is on the top right of the door. <laughs> now that we got the Rolling Rock star, I think it's time to tackle the 100 coin star. All right, it's time to get the 100 coin star in Hazy Maze Cave. And I'll probably speed things up along the way. All right, grab those first three. 12, eight. Now, whoa. <laughs> Go through the toxic maze once again. And I think there should be a blue coin switch somewhere. There it is. And let me grab the uh, metal cap switch. Oh, cap. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Step on here. Ah, that's not enough coins for a hundred. There, 60 coins already. That's more like it. All right, so I got the emergency exit star last time, and this is the normal way you can get it. Okay. Any more back there for coins? Nope. Nope. Nope, that's just a one-up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, almost got... Where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> Well, made it across that, and, and got a few more coins. Great. So now I'm going to go through all of the rest of Hazy Maze Cave and get a few more coins to get to 100. Grab this red coin. Don't even care about the others. Ah, need to get up there where Mr. I was. There we go, and for these platforms, you just need to be careful and not try not to fall off. Ah! No! Ah! Ah! I got burned by the torch flame! Dang it! Did it work? Oh! Yes! Finally got that blue coin, though. I'll take it. <laughs> Dang, that one platform where Mr. I was on is so difficult, though. Oh, wait, there's another one. Stay. Got that blue five coin, and we're already at 90. 10 more, and then 100. And got the 100 coin star in no time, baby. Get the 100 coin star, and we're already at 49. Right, so now that we've got the 100 coin star in Hazy Maze Cave, let's move on over to the DS version of Mario 64 and take on one final star of this same course. And going back to Mario 64 DS, let's finish things up with Underground Switch Star. And just like all the other Switch Stars, that only appeared in the DS version of Mario 64, but not in the N64 version. So basically, all you have to do to get this star is to get a Wario cap and go to the area where you get the red coins from. Sorry. <laughs> and now that we're down here, I think there should be a black box. Oh, yeah, there we go. Punch it. No. There we go. And like I said, Wario can only punch black bricks, but not Mario or Luigi for DS. But you get what I mean. Take a hit by a Goomba. Step on this switch star. And let's get that star. Heck, I actually did it on my first try though. Awesome. So now that we got all the stars in Hachimi's cave. I think it's time to end this video. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Brickmeister Z channel for more Mario 64 so that you don't miss part 8. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.